Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This week for my week in my life I'm going to make an effort to show you more of my meals. So I already am off to a rough start. I forgot to show you that I drank 750 milliliters but if you've seen my morning routine you know that I do this every single morning. I chug a glass of water while I download my podcast but I am now going to have my first cup of coffee for the day. I probably won't show you this every single day this week just because it's very repetitive, but I do have a glass of water and coffee every single day. I know I love a good coffee shot, so I'm going to show you my what I'm going to have this morning for coffee. It's a uh, rainy 18 degrees this morning, so it's a hot coffee kind of morning. So let's go. I just finished making my dark roast coffee in my Nespresso machine. Um, something I did want to point out is that I, the, my first coffee every single morning, I do have black just because I, I do have at least two cups of coffee a day, which I know is not good for me, but I'm a caffeine addict. I know it was actually way worse in university, believe it or not. So. I'm actually doing better because I do have quite a few coffees. I try not to put milk or cream or sugar or anything in every single one of them just because I really don't need it. I like the taste of black coffee and it's just it's just a lot of uh, cream and sugar if I add it in every single coffee throughout the day. But now I'm going to go read my book and I will talk to you guys later. I'll, I'm still going to talk to you about my work but I think that I'm going to make an effort to show you what I eat this week as well. Hey guys, so I am just about to start work. I went for a run this morning. I went for, I've been doing pretty good. I went for three runs last week and I went for, and the one I went for today was uh, four kilometers so it's getting longer but that also includes like a five minute warm up and cool down walk just so you know. So today for work I have a really big meeting at 2.30. Um, I'll talk to you again when I'm about to eat breakfast but for now I'm just going to have a, another glass of water. So it's about nine o'clock now and I'm just having breakfast. I'm having some peanut butter on rice cakes because we're out of bread. And I was at the cottage this weekend so I wasn't able to um, grocery shop and meal prep like I normally would during a week. So I guess this is a little bit of a weirder what I eat in a week. Um, a little bit of a weirder week to show you what I'm eating but that's what I'm having. I use some crunchy craft peanut butter, which is amazing. Craft peanut butter is far superior than any other peanut butter, and I will fight anyone on that.
It's now um, just after three, so I finished up that meeting. So this week is a little different. Um, I normally would meal plan on Friday night, uh, pick up my go grocery shopping on Saturday, and then meal prep on Sunday. But this weekend I went to the cottage and also our fridge broke last week. So we had to do a larger grocery shop. So we actually placed an online order yesterday to pick up today so we can go pick it up soon. So I'll show you what we got when we come back, which is actually a really like really good because um, if I'm doing it, since I'm showing you more of what I'm eating this week, it worked out well that I had to go grocery shopping during the week. Other than that, work did go well today. I just was doing the same old, same old dad cleanup. Uh, you know the deal. <laughs> it's not the most exciting. So we're gonna go pick up our groceries in probably like 15, 20 minutes. And uh, I'll show you when we get back what we got. So we're back from the grocery store now, so I'll show you what we got. Uh, there were a few substitutions, and uh, which sucks a little bit, but I'll show you what we got anyways. And because we're doing, because of COVID and online, we did online grocery shopping and you can't use reusable bags for that. So that's why we had to get them in plastic. So first we have some grapefruit bubbly. Bubbly is our favorite. We, our favorites are um, cherry and orange, which is what we ordered. But unfortunately, they gave us grapefruit and strawberry, but they're still good. And then Stephen ordered two boxes of Frosted Flakes for like a dessert or breakfast. But I think he more he has them for dessert. Some almond milk for a recipe. Um, whole wheat flour because I'm running out some red peppers some because we are doing like a pesto turkey sandwich for lunch this week and some unsweetened applesauce for a recipe and then we got some ciabatta, ciabatta for those sandwiches but unfortunately they only gave us um one pack and when i ordered two for the sandwiches so we'll either just use regular bread or I think we're gonna go to shoppers maybe and get um, some other time this week and then the strawberry bubbly and then over here we've got some Kleenex boxes because we're running out uh, some spinach for those sandwiches watermelon another like desserts looks pretty good some provolone cheese for those sandwiches as well as just to, like sort of snack on. Some cream, half and half for coffee. Greek yogurt for this apple bread recipe that I'm going to be making soon. Some whipping cream, apples, 2% um, milk um, for Stephen's cereal as well as coffees. The turkey. Then we got the oats and honey country harvest bread. This is the best flavor of this kind of bread for sure. And a 18 pack of eggs because the 18 pack that I had gotten last week was bad because of the fridge. But I'm gonna go put all this away and I will talk to you guys later. So we cooked some rice with pork chop and this is like a pepper peach uh, salsa on top. And now we're just gonna watch some Hell's Kitchen while there's a tornado warning outside. So I made some apple pecan bread for dessert and I just finished making this glaze and I'm letting it cool down for a little bit. And I'm gonna spoon that on and that's going to be our dessert for the next couple days, probably a week. Um, yeah, it looks so good. I'm so excited to try it.
Hey guys, so I just got back from my morning walk and I was about to do um, a home workout, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the supplements I use. But before I do, I want to make it very clear that you definitely do not need this. You do not need to use supplements if you have a balanced diet. I just use them because one, I don't feel like I get really enough protein during the day when I'm when I'm like lifting weights because you tear your muscles every time that you lift weights and the protein helps rebuild it so that's why I use that and the reason why I use BCAAs is because I just to prevent muscle soreness the next day but again you don't really need them if you're having a balanced diet but I just take them sort of as a just-in-case measure and I definitely don't have them every single day and I don't have them after every workout when I feel like I want to use them I do so that being said I'll show you the supplements I've been using so this is sort of where I we keep our supplements on the top here so the first thing I'm going to show you is the is my pre-workout um, if I'm having coffee in the morning, I don't have this. This is more when I was going to the gym first first thing in the morning. I was having this instead of coffee. I really like this one because it doesn't make me itch. A lot of pre-workouts will make you really itchy when they're starting to work. And I really hate that feeling. So I like this one because it doesn't give you that. And also it's got, I'm going to show you, is this, this is not the BCAAs I take. I just... Got rec I get all of these at Popeyes. This is the one I got recommended. I don't know. I I like these because I really like this um, brand, the Revolution Nutrition. I find their stuff always tastes good. And this I got a, the sour cherry blast flavor. And I've got a I've got a few flavors of protein. This is. I think this protein is really cool because it's more. It's not like a a milkshake type of consistency like how all protein powders are sort of like a a milkshake sort of or like they're supposed to be creamy this is more of like a juice so it's more like a bca but it's protein powder which is i really like especially in the summer because i find a lot of protein powders can be really heavy and i don't want to have that every single day so I, this is a really good um alternative I've got the blue shark one, but they've also got a peach, like a peach flavored one that's really good. And then I've got the, like my big one here is um, vanilla protein powder. So this is the one. I just use a whey protein, but I always make sure to get isolate just because it has less, um, it's more purely protein and less like carbs and all of that uh, because I I get enough carbs and fats throughout my day it's really the protein that I'm looking for for after a workout so I got the vanilla flavored and then I've got small ones of the exact same kind in both chocolate and I think it's fruity cereal that I have so this is a really good brand if you like cool ones they also have like a salted caramel one that's really really good in smoothies and stuff so yeah I just wanted to show you that and now I'm going to go do my kit for the morning hey guys happy Tuesday I guess I haven't actually even talked to you yet today but I just finished eating breakfast I made some apple cinnamon pancakes which I'll leave like the link to the recipe that I used down below oh I guess I did talk to you when I was talking to you about my supplements so um I did have some BCAAs this morning, but I didn't have any protein powder or anything like that. I just feel like I don't really need it. I forgot to show you that actual finished product of the pancakes, but I'll show you tomorrow because I meal prepped it for the week. And I'm going to have a second coffee soon, but I'm going to have the exact same one as I had yesterday, so I, I'm not going to bother showing you that. But today, I just have one little phone call with someone from my team to discuss like a presentation that we have this week and uh, other than that I'm going to be doing the classic data cleanup 
that's a lot of what I do in the summers because I in the summer we are allowed to work on more projects uh, and for lunch I'm, we're going to be doing pizza again even though I got we got groceries yesterday we just have still some leftover pizza so that's what we're going to be having and uh, this afternoon I'm going to be filming my after work routine so I probably won't talk to you until tomorrow but I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this Good morning guys and happy Thursday. Oh wait, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Anyways, so it's actually like a little before, it's like quarter to seven and I went for my morning walk but today I'm working out with Steven in the afternoon so I'm not gonna do my usual morning workout which means I have an extra 15 minutes so I'm going to go outside and enjoy the fresh air for a little while. I figured I'd catch you up on what I did last night. So as you know, I was filming a night routine. Me and Steven had to do a few errands. So we stopped by Chapters and I got a few books. So I'm going to go grab the bag and show you what I got. Steven had to get a gift for his dad, that's why we stopped at Chapters, but any excuse for me to go to Chapters is a good one, so. So I got three books. The first book I got was Midnight Sun. It was on sale. I don't know about any of you, but I was obsessed with the Twilight series in middle school, just like I feel like every single teenage girl was. But if you don't know the story about Midnight Sun, the fact that a few chapters got leaked like right when the whole series was happening so she decided not to publish it and then she finally did what it feels I think it's got to be like 10 years later I have no idea though I know the Twilight series is kind of <laughs> it's controversial but it's nostalgic for me so I'm I had to read it I had to so I got that and then the next book I got was My Dark Vanessa. It was, I, all these books were on sale, that's why I got them, but this has been on my to read list for a little while now. I'm not 100% sure what it's about, but I know it's like really sad. So I'm, but I've heard, I've heard great things about it and it's got really good reviews, so I'm excited to try it out. But yeah, um, and then lastly, what I got was the Jane Austen Society. So this 40% off. Again, I, I've, it's been on my list to read for a little while because it's got good reviews on Goodreads. Oh, and she's she was raised in Canada, so. And she has a, she went to the University of Toronto. That's super cool. Love that. Probably if she has any more books, then I'll definitely read it because I love to support fellow Canadian. And it's also just a really pretty book. I don't like, I love this color, hence why a lot of the branding on my channel has this color. And that's my mini book haul. So I hope you enjoyed that. And now I'm just going to go write a to-do list and enjoy the weather outside before I start work for the day. So it's now 8.30 and I'm craving my second cup of coffee. As you know, the, I usually have a I usually have cold brew for my second coffee, but today it's actually really chilly outside. It's only um it's only 14 degrees and it was like 12 degrees this morning when I went for my walk. So I think I want another hot coffee today. So I just made a intenso pod which is like a dark roast coffee 
It smells so good. And I put some almond milk in it because I have some leftover from when I was making my pancakes yesterday. So I wanted to use that up. Hey, so it's now quarter to ten, so I'm just about to eat breakfast. I'm going to have the exact same thing as I had yesterday, but I'll make sure to actually show it this to you this time. They're just apple cinnamon pancakes with uh, and I put maple syrup on it because I'm Canadian. How can I not? So this is my lunch. It's just um, pesto, provolone cheese, turkey, spinach, and roasted red pepper on a ciabatta bun. It's super simple, easy, but I just toasted the buns and then threw everything on there but I've got oh and I'm also drinking the strawberry bubbly but I've got a meeting at 12 30 so in like 10 minutes so I'm going to be eating my lunch at my desk today hey guys so it's now 3 30 and I'm done work for the day I am having a very low energy afternoon but I still need to work out for the day um, Steven and I were going to work out together, but he decided he's going to go golfing instead, which is great because he was having shoulder problems, so this will be, uh, nice. That means that I'm going to take some pre-workout and hopefully give myself some energy in order to work out today, but I don't think I will do any cleaning, any of my, like, little cleaning that I usually do after work, just because I'm struggling today so it's just not gonna happen that's fine it doesn't need to get done every single night it's just that I like to keep on top of things so without further ado let me go take pre-workout So this is just a PSA for anyone who has an espresso machine. You should make sure that you're cleaning it like every single day because this is after only a couple of days of not cleaning it and it's disgusting. So if you have an espresso machine, I really recommend that you clean it as often as possible. And I also want to just give a little tip about how I stay motivated when I'm uh, when I'm like really tired after work if I have, like cleaning or any if, or if I have any um sort of sorry um, if I'm cleaning or if I have any like just work that I have to do after work my tip is to just pick a podcast that whose that length that isn't like that long maybe half an hour or something like that or 20 minutes and just say I'm going to do this task for the length of this podcast while I'm listening to it and then if by the end of the podcast you're still not feeling it then you stop but if you're like okay I may as well just finish whatever I'm working on then you can just listen, keep listening to more podcasts it seriously works motivating you and because I really wasn't feeling um cleaning today but I just got a bunch of stuff done because I was listening to a mini-sode of uh, My Favorite Murder. Hey guys, so it's now just about 5.15, so I'm going to start dinner now. Uh, I was just uh, did a little bit of cleaning and editing of my night routine that I filmed yesterday, so, but now I'm gonna eat, uh, I'm gonna start cooking dinner. We're just making another good food box, so. Um, Tonight we are making the turkey barbacoa bowls. So we're just having the um, barb turkey barbacoa bowls and splitting a cook. And then we're gonna have the apple bread I made earlier for dessert. Happy Thursday. So it's now nine o'clock. We're just a little after nine and I'm just eating, about to eat my breakfast of pancakes again. 
the rest of what I eat this week will be probably pretty boring because I've just meal prepped my lunch and dinner for the rest of the week now. So I'm actually just taking a 15 minute break and I'm going to watch some YouTube videos on the TV while I eat my breakfast just to try and get away from my computer for my breaks. I Lately I've been doing having my breaks sitting at, at my computer desk and just looking at my phone for the like 15 minute break. I realized that I need to start separating myself a little from my desk during the day just for eye strain uh, and also just so that I don't get so stressed out throughout the day. I have like my little breaks, my little me time, but today I have that presentation that I was talking to you about. It shouldn't take too long. Me and another girl are going to present what we this project that we've been working on. Other than that I'm just doing some more <laughs> classic data cleanup. And then after work today, me and Steven are, I think are going to be doing a few errands like, like going to the LCBO and shoppers just because we need to get a few things. Uh, he needs to get some things before he goes this weekend and I always like a trip to shoppers and the LCBO. Probably will get myself something for this weekend because tomorrow actually I'm going to a friend's house. I'm staying the night there. I'm just crashing there. Well, because we're going to be like drinking and stuff like that and I still don't feel comfortable taking public transport so I'm probably, so they're willing to drive me there and back which is really nice. I probably won't be able, won't be updating you much today. I'll show you my lunch again even though it's gonna be the same thing. But yeah, let's get this day going. So it's now uh, 20 after 12 and I'm just eating lunch now. I'm eating the exact same thing. It's just like a sandwich with pesto, provolone cheese, turkey, spinach, and a roasted red pepper on ciabatta. Uh, Steven's got a physio appointment um, right at like 1 so that I'm eating lunch alone. I made him lunch it's just sitting on the counter so he can quickly eat it before he has his appointment. Yeah, I just started watching Selling Sunset this morning instead of watching YouTube I decided to try Selling Sunset and I already can tell I'm gonna be into it. I love trash TV. <laughs> like any sort of reality TV like I know it's bad but like it's so addicting to watch you know. So that's what I'm going to be watching over the lunch break, but I'll see you after work. Friday guys! It's finally almost the weekend. Oh sorry, my shirt's all wet from my, from my hair. Ignore that. Anyways, so it's so dark out today so I hope the lighting is okay. It's such a gloomy Friday which is ominous for the weekend. <laughs> Anyways, I know it's been a long time since I talked to you yesterday. I don't think I, I think the last time I talked to you was lunch time yesterday so it's been a while last night we just went after work I we went to shoppers in the LCBO at shoppers I just got some snacks for the weekend so nothing too special but I want to show you what I got at the LCBO because there was some really cool like cans that I haven't seen there before so I'm excited and also I got a bottle of wine for when I go to my friends tonight I think I explained that I'm going over to a friend's place and crashing there tonight and that means I get to see their dog sandwich so if I get any clips of him I will put it in at the end of this vlog. He's so cute he's like a husky mix baby. Anyways so I'll show you the LCBO in a little bit 
Right now I'm just working on emails because I have sort of ignored them for a little while and they're starting to pile up email requests so I need to get back on that. And at the same time I'm also uploading my video on my laptop back there. It's just uploading. It should be going live at 12. I'm gonna, I think in September, instead of go, doing it every three days, I'm gonna actually have an upload schedule because I think the algorithm will like that better. But, and anybody who's watching this will actually know when to expect my videos instead of having to count like three days every time they... So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing t this morning at least. Steven's going to his dad's house this weekend to, for his birthday, so I'll be alone for most of the weekend, which is alright. I'll get some cleaning done and maybe some organizing, something like that. Or just take it easy, enjoy some me time, you know? But obviously I'm going to see my friend this week tonight, which will be a lot of fun. I haven't seen them in a couple of weeks now, so it'll, it'll be nice to see them again. So yeah, let's get this Friday started. I've already got my second glass of water going, so you know it's going to be a good day. So it's just about 9 o'clock and I'm about to have my breakfast, but I wanted to show you the haul of what I got at the LCBO yesterday just because um, I thought there was really cool stuff that I didn't know about and maybe you guys want to try it. So I got two bottles of wine. I got this one. It's just a white wine, but it says... Head says gym, heart says wine, and I thought it was really funny. So I'm going to bring this one to my friend's place tonight. And then I got my favorite bottle of wine, Lola. All of their wines are so good. They're Actually, I don't think I've ever tried a white wine by them, because I'm not a big white wine fan, but this one was funny. That's why I got it. I prefer reds. So I got a bottle of red, but they're... Rosé is really good too, in case you're ever looking for that. And then I saw that they have this really cute um, barefoot spritzer can, and it's peach flavored, which I love, um, which peach is my absolute favorite type of any sort of drink. And then I got some Babe Rosé because I saw them in Canada and I was like, I gotta try what all this hype is about. And... I love, okay, sorry, actually, I'm going to bring this one beside it. These are two by Brickworks, which is a, a Toronto brand, I think. Anyways, their side, specifically, their peach cider is my favorite, but Steven likes all of them. Um, but I saw they had two other, like, a, they have a lemonade cider rattler, and then, a, like, a, a spritz, which is, like, most of what I drink is, um, I guess, vodka sodas type thing. But this is a cider still. Anyways, so I wanted to try them both. I thought they were, looked really good. And then Summersby is such a throwback to university. I We used to drink them all the time in first year, but I saw that they had, like, a, also had a spritz. So I was like, I gotta try that one too. <laughs> and I didn't know that uh, Don't Poke the Bear had ciders. I thought they were just a wine company. So I'm going to try those too to see how they are. I really think the the berry pink is really cute. <laughs> That's all of what I got in case anybody is interested in trying something new at the LCBO. Hey guys, it's now lunchtime so I'm just going to be having the exact same thing as I've had the last two days for lunch except for this time we ran out of ciabatta. They didn't um, give us enough in our grocery order this week so I'm just gonna have some regular um, bread for with it. The sun came out so it's looking like a great day. The sun always puts me in a way better mood and also the fact that it's sunny means that I can potentially work outside the rest of the afternoon, which is always a good way to spend your Friday. Okay, let me sit down with you for a second. So I'm probably going to end the video here. 
Um, unless I get some footage tonight of Sandwich and then I'll put it at the end of this vlog. Uh, Sandwich being my friend's dog. I don't know if I said that already, that that's their name. Anyways, so I'm going to end the video here, but I hope that you have a great day, great weekend for anybody who's watching this. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up because it shows me that you're enjoying these videos. And also comment down below because I'd love to get to know any of you who are watching. And finally, I guess subscribe if you want to see more lifestyle and work content. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!